tries to tell you that there's one way to write a book, they're idiots and they're liars and they're probably not going to make you feel good about your life. So, you know, they're just, you know, trying to make themselves feel better because there's no one way to do it. And, uh, and I think that's really liberating. You can do whatever you want. You want to write in verse? You want to write in poetry? You want to write an entire book in poetry? One of my favorite authors is Shel Silverstein, <laughs> Dr. Seuss. They're like legends. I love them. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them. You guys know? Shel Silverstein, Dr. Seuss? Yeah. They're like the kings of children's literature. I love that stuff. I was talking to the LA Times, the newspaper in LA, I was doing an interview with them, and the lady was like, so who are your favorite authors? And she was expecting me to say something like really deep and intense, I think. And I was like, Dr. Seuss. And she was like, she started laughing. And she's like, no, but really, though, like, who's your favorite author? And I was like, no, really, I think he's brilliant. Because, I mean, I love authors who don't talk down to kids, who break, you know, um, tradition, who think outside the box. And they, like, were inventing words and being weird. Like Shakespeare. I mean, he was making fun of everyone, and they didn't even know. So, I mean, I think that's really great. A lot of people give Jane Austen a lot of crap. And, uh, sorry, I'm allowed to say crap. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. So, uh, a lot of people give Jane Austen a lot of difficulty because they're like, oh, she just writes these like floofy romantic novels or whatever, which is complete nonsense. Jane Austen is the king, um, or the queen, I guess. But she was also kind of, I mean, she was making fun of society. Her whole thing was like, I'm going to write these books that are actually kind of a satire, kind of mocking the stupid things that people do, the, the stupid ways that people spend their time. And she was such a pioneer. And, um, you know, people, it doesn't, you, so you can write whatever you want, and uh, and maybe you won't even be appreciated, like Moby, you know, like Herman Melville, who wrote Moby Dick. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that novel. It's a great American novel. And uh, it's this huge, great American novel that's really beautiful. But when it was published, I mean, nobody liked it. And, every, and he published it himself. And... Uh, Poor guy, he like lost his marriage and all sorts of stuff. He was like, he worked at the post office and he wrote this really great, amazing book that was never appreciated until many, many, many years after he died. And he died thinking he was a complete failure, which I think is like so sad. I want to be like, hey, Herman, like you're awesome. But I mean, it's, you know, I just, I'm trying to say that like there's some really great stuff out there that is never appreciated in its time. And I think we need to change that. I think we need to shift the way that we think about things.